I am an American soldier. I am a warrior and a member of a team. Following World War II, the permanent presence of women in the military is formally established with the Women's Medical Specialist Corps, the Army Nurse Corps, and the Women's Army Corps. I serve the people of the United States and live the Army values. I will always place the mission first. In 1970, the Chief of the Army Nurse Corps and the Director of the Women's Army Corps are the first women to be promoted to Brigadier General. In 2008, General Ann Dunwoody becomes the Army's first and, to date, only female four-star general. I will never accept defeat. I will never quit. In 1971, the first women are allowed access to all male drill sergeant schools and NCO Academy program. In 2015, Specialist Skylar Anderson is the first woman to graduate as a combat engineer. I will never leave a fallen comrade. In 1972, all military occupational specialties are open to women, except those that might require combat training or duty, and the ban on women commanding units that include men is lifted. In 2014, Captain Lauren Glover becomes the first female commander of the all-male United States Army drill team. In 1977, women are integrated into basic training units alongside men. In 1978, the Women's Army Corps is disbanded, and in 1979, enlistment qualifications become the same for men and women. In 2015, First Lieutenant Shea Haber, Captain Kristen Greist, and Major Lisa Jaster became the first women to complete Army Ranger School and earn the Ranger tab. I stand ready to deploy, engage, and destroy. In 1980, the first women graduate from the United States Military Academy. In 2015, Lieutenant General West becomes the highest ranking woman to have graduated West Point when she is named Surgeon General of the United States Army and Commanding General, U.S. Army Medical Command. I am a guardian of freedom and the American way of life. In 2016, the Army opens all specialties, career fields, and branches to women. The best qualified, regardless of gender, are now afforded the opportunity to serve. We 